Good morning, somebody that's praying. I'm right here with you. I'm somebody that's praying too and praying every day. We're on day, I think, 37. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we have, uh, no, 38, because we have 39 and 40 Thursday and Friday. Uh, we're in between Chama and Taos up in the mountains. I want to show you this beautiful shot uh, that we have in between here. And I think this is still the Sango de Cristos. It's just absolutely, you can just see forever. See mountain range on top of mountain range. Just a beautiful, it drops into this beautiful valley that Chama is and uh, Terrace uh, Amarillo is and just different little small villages and towns. Just absolutely beautiful. And I think about uh, today, I was thinking about if this is a fallen world and it's still so awe-inspiring that God made it that beautiful, how beautiful is heaven? I look at the flowers here. There's yellow flowers over here just growing wild. Uh, there's whole batches of purple flowers growing all over these mountains, just wild. There's aspens. You can see some aspens right here. There's aspen groves and pine trees, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And I think, man, I hear people describe heaven that have been there, that the flowers are a different color and that it just, there's no uh, UV. I mean, there's no, there's nothing blocking the colors and the colors are different and it's just beautiful how beautiful heaven is that's perfect and the presence of God is always there and you know that's going to make it extremely beautiful with his presence always there and him being the light of the place and so man we have something to look forward to we have something great to look forward to the coming of the Lord the going to heaven whether he comes during our lifetime or we we go to him uh, we just have something great to look forward to and it's really important that we keep in the eternal, eternal, not an internal, but an eternal mindset that, man, we're made for heaven, that this isn't our home, but heaven is our home. This is a temporary place that, you know, we're called upon to occupy because Jesus destroyed all the works of the enemy. He destroyed them all. And we're called to occupy this place. We're called to uh, minister to those who don't know him and to love each other and to love God and and gather together in community in church and and worship him and praise him and and serve. Just serve him, serve each other. And so that's what we're called to do. But I want to read this scripture to you out of Galatians 1, 16 and 17. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. You know, we, we can't forget we serve a sovereign God that has authority over the whole universe and that he's moving. And I don't want you to forget in your circumstances, if you need a miracle, if you need something great to happen, don't, don't forget that God is for you. He said, if he be for you, who could be against you? And so I want to encourage you that he's for you. He's working all things together for our good. If you love him and are called according to his purpose. And so, man, trust him. Trust him that he's holding things together. And sometimes it's hard when you're waiting on a miracle. Sometimes it's hard when you're waiting on the, the oppression to be uh, lifted off our state. Sometimes it's hard when you're, when you're just going through day-to-day -day life. It's, it can be difficult waiting on God to move. And sometimes we don't understand uh, why he's taking so long or why this is happening or this is happening. But listen, that's when our endurance is built. That's when our trust is really challenged. Our loyalty to him is really challenged. Let's pass that test. Let's pass that test today. Say, God, I'm not going to doubt you. God, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, give in to fear or worry or not any of that anxiety of any type. I'm just going to trust you, that you're working everything out for my good. I'm going to have a joy about me today. I'm going to celebrate the beauty that you've given me all around me and family and, and friends and the beauty of being able to have a job and a roof over your head, just the blessings of God today. I'm just going to celebrate you today. I'm, not going, to, I'm, not, I'm going to forget about my past. I'm going to put that behind me and receive your forgiveness and move on. And I'm going to not think uh, too much about the future. I'm going to plan, but I'm not going to meditate on it too long or worry about it. I'm just going to have a great day today and focus on what you're doing today and what you've, what you've done to get me to this place and just appreciate the beauty all around me and, and just trust you that you're working everything together for my good. 
And so anyway, I wanted to leave you with that this morning. Hopefully you'll carry that joy with you, the beauty of all of You'll look around. I mean, I'm fascinated by I take pictures of all these little flowers and point out all this stuff. And I think some of the guys with me are like, man, that's you're crazy. Uh, but I, oh, I so value the little things in the details of, of my own life and the details that God's put around us. Just appreciate the beauty. I know it's hot back in my hometown of, of Roswell, but listen. Uh, just appreciate the beauty around you, even there. And so, listen, I love you. Have an awesome day today. Trust God today. Trust him that he's working together for your good. And so enjoy it. God bless you. Have an awesome day.